Alright, in my last couple of videos on conic sections, we've learned how to formulate the standard equation for the hyperbola and also determine all of the features of the hyperbola so that we can sketch one. So in this video, let's put all of that knowledge into practice by sketching the equation x squared on 16 minus y squared on 48 equals 1, showing the foci, vertices, directrices and the asymptotes. Now to start off with, the expression x squared on 16 minus y squared on 48 isn't quite in the standard form of x squared on a squared minus y squared on b squared equals 1. So let's convert it to this form before we do anything. Alright, so we have x squared. Now 16 can be written as the number 4 squared minus y squared the number 48 can be written as 16 times 3. So unfortunately the number 48 can't be written as a square of an integer. However this 16 here can be expressed as 4 squared and this 3 here can be written as square root 3 squared. So if we combine these two together we have on the bottom 4 times root 3 all squared. So now we have the equation in standard form. So from this equation, let's first find the vertices. And the coordinates of the vertices are given by plus or minus a comma zero. So here we have a equal to four. So the vertices are plus or minus four zero. Next, let's get the focal points. And the coordinates of the focal points are given by plus or minus a times the eccentricity, comma zero. Or we can write this as plus or minus c, comma zero. Now the term b squared down here, we've established that this is a more convenient way of writing c squared minus a squared. Okay, so c is the distance of the focal point from the origin. So if we rearrange this expression, we get c squared is equal to b squared plus a squared. Now b squared is equal to the number 48. And a squared is equal to 16. So these added together give 64, which we can express as 8 squared. So we conclude that c is equal to 8. And thus the focal points are given by plus or minus 8 comma 0. All right, next let's find the directrices. And the equations for the directrices are given by positive or negative a divided by the eccentricity. So from the result above that c equals 8, well c can be written as a times e. So if we solve this expression for e, we have e is equal to 8 on a, with a being equal to 4, we have the eccentricity equal to 2. So therefore the equations of the directrices are given by positive and negative 4 on 2 which is equal to positive and negative 2. Finally for the asymptotes. Now the vertical axis of the hyperbola called the conjugate axis which is really just an imaginary line that connects the points capital B, B prime and the coordinates of capital B are 0 comma positive little b which is equal to 0, comma, positive 4 by root 3. And 4 by root 3 evaluates to approximately 6.92. And the point B prime is simply 0, negative little b, which will be 0, comma, negative 6.92. And we can use these points along with the vertices as the outer edges of a rectangle in order to construct the asymptotes and the equations of the asymptotes are given by y is equal to positive and negative b on a times x which is equal to positive and negative 4 times root 3 divided by 4 times x so the asymptotes are given by positive and negative the square root of 3 times x so now we have all the information that we need in order to sketch 
the equation x squared on 16 minus y squared on 48 equals 1. Alright, so on this chart, so we have a vertex located at 4, 0. Let's call this point capital A. We also have one located at negative 4, comma, 0. Let's call this one A prime. There's a focal point located at 8, comma, 0. Let's call this point F. And the other focal point is located at negative 8, comma, 0. Let's label this as F prime. Now the directrices are given by the equation x equals positive 2 and x equals negative 2. So the positive directrix is shown by this blue line. Let's call this D with the equation x equals 2. And the negative directrix, let's call this D prime with the equation x equals negative 2. Now to construct the asymptotes, the point capital B was located at 0 positive 4.92 so this is the point B and the point B prime was located at 0 negative 4.92 and we call B B prime the conjugate axis let's construct a rectangle with B B prime A and A prime on the edges And let's clean this up a little bit and turn these lines into dashed lines. And now we can construct the asymptotes from corner to corner of this box and then extend it beyond in either direction and repeat this for the negative asymptote. And we'll turn these asymptotes into dashed lines as well. Alright, and now we have the framework on which to sketch the hyperbola. So from the vertices, the hyperbola opens up like a parabola. But as we go further and further away from the origin, we tend towards the asymptotes but never crossing or touching them. So as we get further away from the origin, we get more and more parallel to the asymptotes. Alright, so there you have it. Here is a sketch of the curve x squared on 16 minus y squared on 48 equals 1. Alright, so if I've been able to help you in this video, please give me a thumbs up and please share it with your friends. If you have any questions, use the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos that may help you with your homework and assignments. Till next time, best of luck with your studies.